gentlemen, this is your Captain Jaren speaking. I'd like to welcome you on board, flight to Malaysia. We are expecting a smooth flight today, so sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Today my topic is my country, Malaysia. So, my three main points today, firstly is the Malaysian culture, which is consists of three races. My second main point is the cuisine that each race has. And my third point is the two iconic buildings that you can find in Malaysia. As you can see on the map here, Malaysia is between Singapore and Thailand. And US is all the way there. It takes me about 30 over hours to fly from Malaysia all the way to the US. It is dreadful, but coming to the US, it's fun. <laughs> There are 13 states and one federal territory representing the 14 stripes on the flag here. And the crescent represents Islam as the national, um, national religion of the country. And the star represents unity among the Malaysians. So according to a statistics government website, um, population in Malaysia is about 30 million. There are 51% of Malays, 24% of Chinese, and 7% of Indians. So as you can see, Malay is the national uh, race, and then you have Chinese and you have Indian. So Malay plus 1S plus uh, IAN gets you Malaysia. <laughs> Three races. And our currency is called the ringgit. So as you can see here, I have a 100 bill. Right? I have a $50 bill. I have a $5 bill. And a $1 bill. So Malaysia is a tropical country, whether it's totally not like America that you get four seasons. In Malaysia, you only get one season, which is summer like here. It's humid and you'll be melting constantly every year if you go to Malaysia because the temperature there is about 90 to about 100 degrees. Yeah. So moving on to my first main point, which is the three races. So I'm going to talk firstly about Chinese culture. This year, you have what is called a Sampu, right? The dragon represents good luck. And for a woman, they are wearing what is called a Chongsam. The phoenix represents grace and happiness. And onto Chinese food. This is what's called a Cha Kui Tiao, which is a flat rice noodles cooked with prawn, cockles, bean sprouts, and fried egg and we eat it mostly for breakfast. What we have here is called a bakute. In English, it's called a meat bone tea. It's pork ribs simmered in a broth with spices and herbs. Now moving on to the Malay culture. So as you can see, what I'm wearing and what he's wearing is the same. But this cloth here is different from what I'm wearing. Like, so this is called a baju melayu, which in English is called a Malay shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt with a trousers, of course, this, this, this is the trousers. And this is what is called a songko, and this is called a sarong. The sarong is just a cloth, and it's made out of batik. And the girl here is wearing a baju uh, kebaya, which is a blouse and dress combination. And we have the food now, the food. This is called the nasi lemak. This is the national dish for everybody in Malaysia. You eat it for breakfast. So this is the fragrant rice cooked in coconut milk and pandan leaf. And it's served with anchovies, peanuts, cucumber, and egg. And this is called a sambal, which is a chili paste. This here is called a satay. This is mostly you eat for lunch or supper. It's a seasoned skewed, skewed grilled meat um, served with 
with peanut sauce, and this is called the ketupat, which is rice. And it's served with cucumber and onion stew. And it comes in chicken, beef, mutton, or pork. Uh, moving on to the Indian culture. This is called a kurta. Why it's so long and mostly because it's for greater <coughs> mobility and movement for the guys. And the girl here is wearing what is called a sari. It's, this is the most elegant uh, Indian clothing design that you can find. And next is the food. This here is called a roti tissue. In English, it's called a helicopter bread because it's 40 to 50 centimeter long and it's served with what is called a dal. What you have here is a banana leaf. If, of course, it's served on a banana leaf. And you have rice, you have the curry. This is called a papadum, which is like a cracker. And you have the chicken or rendang. And this is a salmon of vegetable and pickles. Now on to my last point is the two iconic buildings. You have here what is called a Petronas Twin Tower. It's the tallest building in the world from 1998 to 2004, and now it's ranked 11. And it has over 400 department stores, and it's a six level. And up here, across, after this bridge, from here on, is office buildings. This year is the second tallest building in Malaysia, which is called the Kuala Lumpur Tower. It's used for more communication purposes. This antenna reaches about 421 meters. And up here is a revolving restaurant, which is a 335 meters up high. And, sorry, I forgot another main point. Uh, the Malaysian language. So in Malay, you say Selamat Datang, which is meant welcome. In Chinese, you say Ni Hao Ma, which is how are you. In Indian, you say Vanakam, which is hello. So ladies and gentlemen, as we are preparing for landing, I hope you have enjoyed your flight. Before you embark the plane, please remember that Malaysia has three races, and each race has their own unique cuisine, and we have the two most iconic buildings in the world. Thank you very much.